welcome everyone to today's uh, dhamma session uh, today uh, bante uh, bante ji vimal hamsa uh, will be uh, guiding us on uh, the anapanasati meditation uh, based on uh, buddha's teaching so on behalf of all of us uh, would like to request bante ji to please uh, give us the uh, the teachings all please all recite namata sabagato for three times to pay homage to the buddha namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa May Tripilajam bless you all and nice to meet you again this week as well. You know, today I would like to give Dhamma talk about Anapanasati, Anapanasati Bahavana actually here. Anapanasati Bahavana, the mindfulness of breathing meditation. Uh, you know, this mindfulness of breathing meditation or the Anapanasati Bahavana, we have in Tipitaka, or whole Tipitaka we have. For example, let's say, starting from the Diganikaya, you have Diganikaya, Anapanasati, sorry, Maha Satipatana Sutta, Diganikaya. And then when, when we come into the Majjhaminikaya, you have again Satipatana Sutta and Anapanasati Sutta. And uh, again, Anguttara Sanyutta Nikaya, you have Anapanasati Sanyutta. That means the series of Anapanasati discourse given by the Buddha. And again, you have Anguttara Nikaya, Girimananda Sutta. That's also you have Anapanasati meditation. And when you come into the Kuddhaka Nikaya, you have again uh, Patisambhida Magga, uh, a book that, that is given by the, the all Dhamma talk are given by Sariputta Maha Arahant. So, uh, and then when we uh, in Abhidham also we have Anapanasati meditation, Anapanasati Bhavana, and even not only that, you have Vinaya Pitaka, Vinaya Pitaka Mahavagga also you have Anapanasati meditation. So we, we found all Tipitaka Anapanasati meditation. Why? This is pretty important. So that's the reason. Actually here, before I discuss the very deep detail, Let's uh, let me explain what's the word by word word by word meaning of the what is ana anapanasati bhavan. So ana and ap, apana ana plus apana combining ana and apana is meant anapan. So ana mean the in breath or the inspiration. Apana mean the expression or the out breath. And sati, anapana, and then sati. Sati is the mindfulness. Here, this mindfulness is one type of mental factor which arises with the mind of the meditator. Or uh, not only meditator, if you do any kusala thing, you, this sati chetasika or sati my, uh, mental factor arises with the mind. You know every, this thing because I did this thing in Abhidhamma. And again, uh, this anapanasati, sati means the mindfulness. So this mindfulness or the sati remembers the object again and again. And then you have uh, anapanasati bhavana. So what is bhavana? Bhavana has many definitions, but uh, I choose, I, I would like to introduce you here. We have sabbhasa sutta in Majjhamanikaya. Commentary to the Sabhasa Sutta, it says in this way. This is very interesting. Others are also very interesting, but I, I would like to introduce to you. This is the uh, this is the explanation there. Chaturoga nittara natikehi katabato kammang bhavana. So let's say what's the meaning? Uh, chaturoga nittara natikehi. Chatu oga become chaturoga. Chatu means four. Oga means you have you, you the floods, 
These floods is uh, not usual flood, huge floods, dangerous floods, or great flood. Flood. So ogre is the flood. So four ogre. What is four ogre? You have Kama ogre, Baba ogre, Bitti ogre, and Avija ogre. So uh, Kama ogre, you know, the uh, in Kama world, you have uh, all the uh, great floods in sensual plane. And Bhava Oga means the uh, plane of existence, floods in plane of existence. And you have Ditti Oga, that's the wrong view. And again, Avicha Oga, that means the flood, great flooding, del delusion, or we can say ignorance. So, in this way, uh, for this is the uh, Oga, or the we can say this is the great floods or dangerous floods. So, uh, now, in this explanation, according to this explanation, it says Chaturoga Nittar Natikehi Katabato Kamang Bhavana. So, Chaturoga Nittar Natikehi means by the beings who wants to cross over the great flood, four great floods. Then, if you want to cross over the four, four great floods, you need to perform against them. So, therefore, in this definition, Chaturoga Nittar Natikehi, who are the beings here? Beings are the celestial beings, Deva and Brahma, and human beings. So, you know, for the four powerful states, they cannot get, they, they cannot cross over or they cannot transcend these four great floods. So, you are meditating to cross over the four great floods. Uh, and uh, Chaturoga Nithar Natikehi Katabado Kammang Bahavana. Katabado Kammang. Kammang is the performance or the function. Katabado uh, Kammang is performance should be done to cross over the four great floods is the Bahavana. So uh, this, this, this is very important to meditate. That, that's why I choose this thing, this definition. And again, again, when we go in this meditation not only this meditation if we come across with any meditation you have 40 meditation subject and 40 meditation object and uh, this is for the tranquility tranquility of the mind and again you have vipassana meditation or the insight meditation that that is also you have object so all meditation you have object not only object uh, in meditation day-to-day -day life also you have objects so what is the object Object is the main thing, main responsible thing to arise mind. So keep in mind, this is very important in this, in this, uh, in this Dhamma. So you have, uh, you have six ob object basically. So what are the six? You have Rupa objects or the forms and Sadda object, there's the sound. And you have Gandha object, Rasa object and Pothaba object or the tangible object, and you have Dhamma object. Dhamma object means uh, you have three worlds. So what are they? Kama world, Rupa worlds, and uh, Arupa worlds. So all three worlds, you have object. So these objects are Dhamma object. So this Dhamma object also sometimes we can, uh, we can divide into, uh, in this way, this is, Conditioned object, for example, your Nama and Rupa, everything you, you see by your uh, five sense doors and uh, in the mind also, uh, all are unconditioned, sorry, conditioned objects. And again, you have concept object. What are, the, what are they? When you produce in this meditation, Anapanasati meditation, if you, if you see the Nimittas, uh, there are three nimittas, Parikama nimitta, Upacha, Uggaha nimitta and Patibhaga nimitta. Those are the concepts. Pa o Panyanti, Buddha called Panyanti. And whenever you produce Kasina meditation, that also you have nimitta. So those are mind-made. So therefore Buddha says, this is the concept or the Panyanti. So those are also uh, object. So again, we have uh, another great object that is what is called Nibbana or the unconditioned element. This is the, uh, that is the all 
condition other other all are condition this is unconditioned so we have several object uh, basically we we uh, classified into six but we have several object uncountable objects so therefore object also you need to know uh, in this meditation in breath out breath and the touch point is the object and we, uh, not only that when you when you go into the into the meditation there is another term what is can you hear me Yes, Pantaji. Uh, another another term is the kamatthana. Kamatthana means, you know, uh, kamatthana. What is the meaning of kamatthana? The learning of the meditation subject and taking the meditation object from the teacher or by the book and practice accordingly. This is the kamatthana. So uh, you need to know every words the meaning of every words and then let's go to the anapanasati meditation anapanasati uh, sutta anapanasati actually uh, we cho i chose the mahavagga in um, diganikaya ana mahasati pattana sutta mr nilesh could you share the sutta for the group Okay, you zoom and see, right? You zoom and see. So uh, it says, you zoom and see. Kathancha anapan, kayanupasana anapana pabbang. Pabbang means the section, anapana section. So kathancha pana bhikkave bhikkhu kaya kayanupasi vihirati. Bhikkave, monk, kathancha pana bhikkhu, uh, how uh, kathancha pana bhikkhu vihirati? How does the bhikkhu abides kaya kaya nupasi uh, by practicing the ultimate ultimate object in in the body body as uh, by practicing as anichadukka anatta so this is the this is the meaning so because this is mahasati patana so therefore uh, buddha buddha uh, emphasize the uh, what is called the vipassana, right? So therefore, uh, Buddha say in this way. But here again, he says about the anapana meditation. Because why? Uh, this uh, asasa pasasa kaya. Because Buddha say for the in-breath, out-breath, asasa pasasa. So this is, Buddha says kaya because there is a group. So therefore, this anapana Anapana, in breath, out breath, uh, body is belong to the kaya nupasana. So, in uh, th therefore, Buddha, Buddha here classified anapana sati meditation also. So, then let's go. Idha bhikkhavi bhikkhu aranya gatava sun rukkamula gatava sunyagara gatava nisidati pallankang abhujitva ujum kayang panidhaya parimakan sati upatta petva. Okay, what is the meaning? You know this thing. Idha mean in this sasana. Bhikkhavi in this sasana, Bhikkhavi the monk in this sasana, uh, Bhikkhu, he has gone to the forest or the base of the tree or the empty place where you have least noise or not, not noise at all. Nisiddhati Pallankang Abhujitva, then he, he sat in cross leg. Ujumkayang Panidhaya Parimukang. Ujumkayang means he uh, straight his body uh, trunk. And Panidhaya Parimukan Sating Upata Pitta. Parimukan Sating Upata Pitta means establish his mindfulness towards the object. And what is the object? Buddha says in this way. So Satova Asasati, Satova Pasasati. So, so Satova Asasati. Then he mindfully breathe, breathe in. So Satova Asasati. And Satova Pasasati. He mindfully breathes out. This is the object. And then, hmm, Oh, why? What happened? Uh, okay. Uh, and then, this is the object. So, 
Well, <clears throat> whenever you, if Buddha say in this way, the object, so Satova Sasati, Satova Pasati, he breathe fully, he mindfully breathe in, breathe, mindfully breathes out. That means uh, you need, never need to make, uh, make your breath deliberately. As a concept, you, you, you must follow as a concept only. So the, again, Buddha says, Digangwa asa santo, digang asa samiti pajanati, digangwa pasa santo, digang pasa samiti pajanati. So digangwa asa santo, breathing in long, he knows thus, I am breathing in long, and thus he trains. Digangwa pasa santo, digang asa pasa samiti pajanati, breathing in short, he knows that I am breathing in short, and thus he trains. What is the meaning here? This is the first step of Anapanasati meditation. You have Buddha have give, Buddha has given the object first, and then uh, this is the, actually this is the meditation subject. Meditation subject within the subject you have meditation object. So uh, in, this is the first step, and uh, again I want to tell while practicing in this meditation, Buddha. First, has, first of all, Buddha has given the object and then over the uh, four steps, he, he leads his Dhamma talk over the four steps. The first step is the long breath. So whenever you have long breath, you, you want to focus your long breath with the full mindfulness towards the object. Object is the, now your object is long breath. If you have, whenever you have long breath, you need to follow long breath with the full mindfulness. And uh, that means both in breath and out breath. And then sometimes when you meditate in this way, if you have long breath only, maybe sometimes your whole sitting may be long breath only, no short breath. So therefore, you need you need to follow long breath only. Then sometimes you may have short breath also. I mean, for, uh, time to time it 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 differ. Time to time in not a uh, uh, like a, a long a short long breath and then short breath, long breath and short breath. Not not in that way. For example, sometimes you have uh, uh, half an hour long breath and then thereafter short breath. It changes into the short breath. Anyway, the first step is you follow, you. Uh, whenever you have long breath, you, you want to follow your long breath with full mindfulness towards the object. So in this situation, sometimes whenever you practice, uh, uh, if you can maintain your mindfulness towards the object peacefully and comfortably for at least one hour, then Nimitta appears in front of you. you usually close to the object, close to the, close to the touch point. Actually, before I want to tell this thing, whenever you, you follow your in-breath, out-breath, and then you need, to, you need to know and you need to experience the touch point. This touch point, sometimes in your, in your, upper lip or sometimes in your inside of the nostril or around the nostril one place around the nostril so you need to you need to follow the in breath out breath and touch point in the long breath so whenever you you can maintain your mindfulness toward this object peacefully and comfortably at least one hour then then you will in front of you, close to the touch point, you have, you may have, or your mind sees the parikamma nimitta or the preliminary sign. That is the sign of concentration. I will explain this thing uh, in after after explaining the four steps, and then rasangwa asa santo rasang asa samiti pajanati rasangwa pasa santo rasang pasa samiti pajanati. What is the meaning? Uh, breathing in short, he knows that I am breathing in short, and he does he does he practice. And breathing in breathing breathing out short, 
he knows that breathing i am breathing out short and thus he practice so what is the how to how you want to practice actually whenever you have short breath this is your second step whenever you have long breath this is your first step so uh, whenever you have short breath this is the second step this is the meaning and uh, uh, short breath mean long, uh, before short breath we discuss about the long breath long breath mean uh, it the time is long in breath and out breath time uh, time is long from the uh, from the beginning up to the end the time is long and from the beginning up to the end of, uh, even in the uh, in breath or out breath time is long and the uh, short breath mean the time in breath time is short and out breath time is sh uh, short that's the short therefore your breath is short in this way you want to understand this thing and uh, whenever you can understand your breath is very short and you can maintain your mindfulness towards this object for at least one hour uh, peacefully and comfortably and then you can see your nimitta in front of you this is the parikama nimitta in front of you mean in in the nostril so uh, sometimes you have you usually your one nostril is active active mean one nostril is functioning and the other no other nostril you don't have the air coming out and uh, coming in so this is uh, whenever you have fun functional nostril that means your active nostril only you need to follow the active nostril here and in the active nostril you can see your nimitta nimitta or the preliminary sign in front of the in front of you close to the touch point and uh, then sometimes you practice for one hour comfortably and peacefully but you don't see the nimitta in this uh, second step and then buddha ask you to buddha uh, give advice you to or buddha instructing you to go to the third step and what is the third step sabbakaya patisangvedi asasi samiti sikkhati sabbakaya patisangvedi pasasi samiti sikkhati what is the meaning sabbakaya patisangvedi sabbakaya mean here whole breath body so experience in the whole breath body i am he knows that i am experience in the whole breath body and he sikkhati mean he, does he practice this meditation and sabbakaya patisangvedi pasasi samiti sikkati uh, experience in the whole breath body he knows that i am i am experiencing whole breath body and thus he trains what is the meaning here uh, when you when you when you don't see the nimitta in the uh, long breath or short breath and then you need to follow the whole breath body how to follow the whole breath body from the beginning up to the end you have touch point in the in your active nostril and from the beginning up to the end in the touch point only in the touch point only you maintain your mindfulness there from the beginning up to the end of the breath body and in in breath also in this way when when the breath comes out then from the from the beginning up to the end you need to follow the breath so this is the meaning so whenever you can you can find out this whole breath body and if you can meditate peacefully and comfortably with the uh, powerful and sharp mindfulness towards the object and uh, even at least one hour then the nimitta appears in front of you if the if nimitta appears it is good but if nimitta not appears then buddha at you to go to the fourth step let's see the fourth step here pasambhayam kaya sankharam asasi samiti sikkhati pasambhayam kaya sankharam pasasi samiti sikkhati so what's the meaning uh, <clears throat> experience in the calming of breath body or the tranquilizing of the breath body i shall breathe in and thus he trains 
again pasam bayang kaya sang karan pasasi samiti sikati experience in the uh, calming or the tranquilizing breath body i i he knows that i i am experiencing uh, calm breath body and thus he trains what's the how to how in the fourth step how you want to practice when now in the third step you can you can follow the whole breath body now in this step this whole breath body become tranquilized so whenever you meditate in this way if the whole breath body become tranquilized while breath coming in and while breath coming out then you you need to maintain your mindfulness or you need to focus your this is the object now you need to focus the object peacefully and comfortably for a long time if you can maintain your mindfulness peacefully and comfortably you can see the nimitta most of the meditators in this stage you can see the nimitta but sometimes the uh, sometimes when you practice in this way sometimes you cannot understand the, or, or you cannot experience your breath breath becomes so subtle and you cannot understand where is breath in breath also you cannot understand or breath also you cannot understand so your breath become very subtle and sometimes most of the meditator become uh, excited in this situation uh, but uh, you don't need to excite or nervous or you you don't need to make your mind restless here actually what happened to you your mindfulness is not so sharp to see the breath or sharp to understand the breath that's the reason but indeed in fact you are you are breathing here but the your mindfulness is not sharp so in what you want to do is you keep your your mind mind the place where immediately before you have breath or the touch point immediately before you have breath or the touch point you you keep your mind there and over the time whenever your mind yeah sati or the mindfulness become very sharp again and then you can you can understand again the subtle breath so if the for example sometimes to the meditator the uh, if they follow the third step for example whole breath body he follow the whole breath body but no not uh, become subtle or not become pasambayang or not become tranquilized so then buddha given advice to them uh, to determine may my this breath become subtle like you want to make this determination here then breath becomes subtle because of the power of the determination your breath becomes subtle here so anyway again buddha says in this way uh, whenever you you have experienced your breath is not there and now you you don't have object and you you become panic here or you become excited here so don't be excited or panic here so uh, again buddha says in seven seven state situation you have no breath what are they for example a dead body you don't have breath and fetus in the mother's womb womb you don't have breath and again unconsciousness person no breath and uh, <clears throat> you know drought drought yeah a, a person uh, sink in the water or drought person yeah again i drought also no no breath at all and then uh, brahma rupa rupa or arupa brahma also no they they have no breath and if you attain if you enter into the fourth jhana or higher jhana uh, for example arupa jhana even higher jhana or fourth jhana you don't have breath and again if the uh, arya people especially anagami and arahant uh, arya arya if they enter into the nirodha samapatti or the cessation attainment 
uh, you cannot find the breath there. So therefore, uh, seven station, you have no breath, but, but the, uh, this situation, you, you are breathing. So therefore, don't be worried. Uh, you, you think about, you don't, uh, you are not belonging to such type of seven station or stages here. So therefore, you, you keep your mind calm at this, uh, at this point. So anyway, uh, whenever you see, you, uh, even you can see the, uh, in the, while practicing the whole, sorry, long breath or short breath or the whole breath body or the tranquilizing of breath body, this is the four steps. While practicing in this way, if you, if you see the nimitta in, actually, if you see the parikamma nimitta in any one of this stage, uh, actually, the rest of the world is like piece of cake. So therefore, uh, this see, seeing the parikamma nimitta is very, very important. So, uh, Mr. Nilesh, can you give, uh, can you see the pictures? Can you, can you, uh, could you, could you share the pictures? Pictures mean, uh, yeah. Uh, the last two pictures. Ah, yes. Uh, please zoom this. So see, this is uh, this is the smoky like. So uh, I need to I need to explain here. This parikam nimitta is very subtle. Parikam nimitta is very subtle. All the preliminary sign. Whenever you see uh, in all four stage, you can see the parikam nimitta. If you see the parikam nimitta, usually parikam nimitta is smoky color. Smoky is not so condensed. It's very subtle. So then. Uh, you can see the nimitta actually uh, the, you can you don't uh, consider the shape and size and the thing you just uh, complexion only you see the complexion only so this not condensed it is very uh, subtle thing like uh, so the uh, go to the other picture also the last one So you see this one, the, uh, the color is like uh, ash color and uh, you, you may see any, uh, you may see, uh, not see like a big one, so the, the size and shape and the color, you actually you don't need to, don't need to see, don't need to consider. Here you, you, you actually what you want to take is the complexion only. So uh, sometimes, uh, Parikamanimita you can see in this way. So this is very subtle. So you, you arouse your mindfulness and with the mindfulness your what is called the wisdom faculty also comes and wisdom faculty sees this. So this is the pari, this, 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 like, like this you can see the Parikamanimita. Not, not only like this, in anything like, uh, you know, the, the uh, not very condensed, very subtle thing. Uh, you can see in this way, Parikama Nimitta. So therefore, uh, to see the Parikama Nimitta is very important in this step. And uh, whenever you see the Parikama Nimitta, you don't uh, rush your mind to see the Parikama Nimitta or the preliminary sign. Preliminary sign means this is the sign of the concentration. So whenever you see the parikama nimitta, anyway you don't don't uh, focus parikama nimitta at once, and you keep your mindfulness towards the object of original object. What is your original object? In breath, out breath, and touch point. And uh, over the time, whenever you meditate in this way, peacefully and comfortably, and you can understand over the time, there comes a time. There comes a time that. Uh, you you can understand that this preliminary sign and your breath become unified. So uh, what is the meaning of that? 
that means your you can see you you can understand your breath is also nimitta nimitta is also breath or oh, in this way also uh, your in breath is coming from the nimitta and out breath is going to the nimitta like and sometimes you can understand your your nostril is within the nimitta or you cannot understand the nostril or your touch point is within the nimitta like for any any situation that you understand like uh, unification of the in uh, breath and the nimitta that's very important be, why be, uh, then you can understand this is uh, this is the parikama nimitta no any doubt this is the parikama nimitta like you can understand so then th therefore the unification is very important and then whenever you can see this nimitta and the unification understand in the unification at that time, your mind automatically goes and touch this nimitta, and you your mind uh, re release or left left let left behind the your original breath, and then you your mind attach to that or stick to that nimitta. So that is also very important. So uh, 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 please wait for the automatically it goes and touch, and you you don't need to deliberately goes goes to the nimitta it automatically go goes so therefore uh, whenever you you focus then uh, then then what happened to your original object you left your original object and then you focus this object this is actually uh, the concept uh, your mind made this thing uh, and then mind made mean uh, yeah there's the concept right and then you focus the middle of the this nimitta and the, uh, over the time with the peaceful and comfortably if you can meditate peacefully and comfortably over the time you can you can see this nimitta become white color very white color and not only that it become very condensed so uh, mr nilesh uh, you uh, can you see the picture of uh, uh, like cloud like thing cloud like uh, picture do you have ah. okay go i will i will tell go the pagoda ah yeah, that's the thing pagoda 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 okay uh, you see then uh, you see this is the maybe you can see the your nimitta as like this cloud or you can see cotton wool like nimitta and it become very very condensed now again whenever you focus this nimitta and uh, sometimes for the somebody nimitta appears first and then oh, nimitta gives light nimitta 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 also uh, light and nimitta also emit light so uh, for somebody nimitta appears first and light appears then and for somebody light appears first and nimitta appears then so keep it mind all are important for you and uh, <clears throat> then when you when you maintain your mindfulness uh, usually middle of the middle of this this is the uh, actually i uh, i want to say this is this is the uggaha nimitta then it become it when it when the parikama nimitta become uh, condensed it is what is called uggaha nimitta so this is the uggaha nimitta then uh, in front of you you can see this type of nimitta or the sign this is the uggaha nimitta or the learning sign so the this learning sign like a cotton wool or cloud like uh, you can see and uh, then whenever you you focus your nimitta on the middle you you can see your nimitta become bright and brilliant and radiant so all the luminous so for example you see the uh, top of the pagoda top of the pagoda here you can see such type of light yeah such a type of light oh uh, mr nilesh then go to the other other lights other other not lights the other other thing yeah sometimes you can see nimitta in this way your, your nimitta in this way oh uh, uh, go limit uh, this is the gem right this is one type of gem or oh, sometimes 
this is uh, actually um, sometimes your nimitta is under the wa water under the water so uh, you can see uh, you 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 focus this and zoom under the water you can see the uh, what is called this is also uh, under the water I mean uh, yeah uh, yeah uh, yeah, uh, you see the under the underwater, uh, yeah, such a type of thing. Uh, under the water, you have light thing like that, right? You you can see Nimitta in this way also. For some meditator, they they see in this way, right? Yes, that's the thing. Okay, and now uh, sometimes you can see your Nimitta in this way, like a lotus. Uh, again, yeah, uh, uh, go uh, go another. Uh, so you you can see your nimitta in, like a, a water or this is the moon moon like thing bright nimitta and this is the patibhaga nimitta the, the, uh, this type of oh this is the uh, cobweb no so then uh, sometimes your nimitta is this way uh, this is we, we can say the, uh, when when such type of nimitta if you see the cobweb like this is the Ugga Nimitta. When it becomes bright, that is the Patibhaga Nimitta. You can understand, you want to understand in this way. Okay, then go to the another thing. Yeah, this is the, uh, sometimes this, this is the Patibhaga Nimitta. This may be the Patibhaga Nimitta. You can see the down also, below also this. This may be Ugga Nimitta, right? Below also you can see some, um, this, this, this we can say this is the Patibhaga Nimitta. It is bright, no? So therefore, it is a Patibhaga Nimitta. And then go to the another. Hmm. These are gem, no? These are not gem, maybe uh, diamond. So uh, this type of diamond, diamond-like uh, thing, you, you can have your Nimitta. And then go to the another. Uh, this, uh, this is also black diamond. So some somebody sees the Nimitta like black diamond. Okay, and this is the uh, finish. Uh, uh, this is the also white diamond. Sometimes you can see this uh, nimitta bright. You you take the brightness only, right? Don't don't uh, consider the size, shape, and the color. You take the brightness. Okay, consider the brightness. And then you can see Nimitta in this way. And you, you can see Nimitta in this way also. Okay. And you can see Nimitta, uh, this is the, this also a gem, gem-like. This is also such sometimes, sometimes you can see Nimitta in this way. This way also possible. And this way also possible. So see the complexion. And sometimes like ruby, red, red uh, gem. Uh, this type of limit also possible. Not only white, right? <clears throat> On, only that, no? Okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. Maybe there is there is another. This type of nimitta also possible. Ah, this type of nimitta also possible. This the black diamond. Black diamond. Hmm. This is the pearl. Pearl. Pearl like nimitta also possible. Okay, such type of nimitta, such type of nimitta, that's the also uh, like, uh, yeah, this is the ruby, like we can say ruby. Okay, go. Uh, this is the moon, moon like, bright moon or bright sun also. You can see bright sun also, like uh, your Patibhaga nimitta, bright sun like, and then, uh, uh, this is the this is the moon and uh, you know the other one is the morning star uh, sometimes 
you focus this and you you can see focus this and uh, you take the brightness you take the brightness of morning star so the, this this type of brightness you can you can see whenever you see the nimitta patibhaga nimitta <clears throat> okay maybe finish oh, one thing pearl 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 like those are pearl pearl like nimitta Okay, this also, uh, okay, now finish. Uh, such type of nimitta, how, how this nimitta appears to you? Because your mind is now, mind has perception, sanya. Uh, whenever you, you, breathe, you focus your in-breath, out-breath and touch point, your, when, when your mindfulness goes sharp and powerful and your concentration goes up, you, your sanya uh, gives the nimitta in this way, nimitta in this way, nimitta, nimitta in such type, such such and such a way, like uh, sanya or the perception gives. According to the perception of you, you can have, uh, you can have. Uh, I mean, for the all, you don't have same nimitta. So for a different different people, you have different different nimittas. I I actually choose according to the atakata. They. Uh, what Atakata says, according to that, I, I explained to you. Uh, not only that, sometimes your nimitta may be very gross, very, very rough nimitta. Uh, so, oh, like cotton, um, the plant of cotton, or some sometimes you sharpen wood, like nimitta. Also, sometimes uh, drawn out cotton, or sometimes you can see uh, drawn out uh, rope, rope, right? And sometimes you can uh, see your nimitta like uh, uh, in the string of flower, the wreath of flower, or the smoke, fluff of smoke, or film of mist, stretch out uh, spider web uh, we saw, and lotus we saw, ch sometimes chariot of wheel, chariot, uh, wheel of the chariot, or sometimes uh, you can see light under the water, or sometimes you see shadow of the huge tree. This, this also mentioned in Visuddhimagga, Some, somebody uh, I have come across with uh, I, I, one meditator, he, he told his nimitta is like a shadow, right? And uh, sometimes waterfall, waterfall, right? Okay, this is also mentioned about the nimitta, you see, some meditators, uh, it appears like long rope or string. Both Uggaha and Uggaha or Patibhaga Nimitta. Uggaha Nimitta means it is not bright and Patibhaga Nimitta is the bright thing. You, you want to understand in this way, breath of flower, puff of smoke, film of mist, stretch out a spider web, like that, you, you, your Nimitta can be lotus, chariot of wheel, moon, sun, uh, uh, light, underwater and shadow of the huge tree or waterfall. So in this way you can see the nimitta. We discussed the other thing. So uh, why you why, you know now why you, this nimitta has become different size, different color, different shape. So therefore Buddha says don't don't shape don't uh, uh, <clears throat> consider the nimitta size, shape and uh, color. Uh, it is not, not Im very important to see the size, shape and color. And then uh, whenever you enter into, whenever you can focus your Patibhag uh, Nimitta, you usually you, you want to focus middle of the Patibhag Nimitta and whenever your mindfulness goes deeper and deeper, your concentration goes deeper and deeper, when you reach to this Patibhag Nimitta, this is the Upachara concentration. This is the Upachara concentration. When you reach to the Uggaha Nimitta, that is not the Upachara concentration, that is preliminary concentration. Or uh, in, even in you, whenever you see the Parikama Nimitta, also preliminary concentration. So you, uh, you reach only the, whenever you see the Patibhaga Nimitta only, you can see the, you can reach up to the access concentration or the Upachara Samadhi. 
So on the Supachara Samadhi, your all five hindrances are come down. Or all five hindrances overcome here. Why overcome here? Because you, your meditation mind, you have, uh, your meditation mind now arise with the other three, 33 chetasika, or the mental factors. Other three, 33, the other 33 mental factors plus mind, uh, object, hold the object. Hold the object and uh, again uh, it vanish and again it arises and hold the object and vanish and like that, like that. Uh, every time the mind, mind and the mental factors arise and fall down or arise and disappear, we are taking the object. And uh, because of this reason, now you, you have your mind and the mental factors, 33 mental factors, out of 33, five, five factors are more important and more prominent here. What are they? Vitak, vichar, piti, sukha, ekagata. Now I am not explaining this thing because in Abhidham I explain this thing. And uh, vitak means the initial application or lifting first towards the mind. Uh, lifting minds towards the object, first lifting, or we can say uh, directing first minds towards the object. This is the vitak or initial application. And the which are which are is the sustained application towards the object. Uh, piti piti is the joy towards the object, joy because of the object, and sukha is the sukha vedana vedana chetasika here. Vedana mean you uh, it experience in the object it experience object uh, <clears throat> with the happy mind happy happiness with the happiness it experience the object. You can see while practice while practicing meditation and then you have ekagata or the one pointedness that is the uh, other mental factor those mental factors so because the uh, those mental factors uh, uh, can suppress your five hindrances for example tina uh, vitak whenever you you are vitak develop up to its maximum level, it it reduced the thinamidha or it uh, overcome thinamidha. Thinamidha means you know the sloth and topper. It overcomes the sloth and topper, and again vichara vichikicha, vichara overcome the vichikicha, and uh, piti overcome hatred, and you know sukha overcome the udacha and kukucha, and you have again kama chanda as a nivarana, one point and us overcome the Kama Chanda. So, um, <clears throat> this the way, uh, because of this reason, whenever you can, you can focus your Patibhagani Mita, all five hindrances comes down or overcome. So, you don't have five hindrances here whenever you focus Patibhagani Mita and uh, yeah, now your uh, five mental factors as Jahana factors, they also uh, grow at its maximum level, or we can say in mature level, jhana factors, all jhana factors become mature. Now, this is the time, in this time, you have upachara concentration. Your concentration is upachara concentration. You have huge light in front of you and as well as around you. Actually, uh, not only this situation, whenever you see parikamanimita also, you have around the light and in front of in front of you have parikamanimita and around you also you have light but don't don't try to see them because why then you will mindfulness become drop so don't try to see but you can see and then ugga, whenever you see the ugga nimitta there also you have light in front of you and around so but don't try to see them you automatically you can see therefore don't don't uh, don't focus your mind around the body. So uh, then, on, then of course, what happened? Your mindfulness become drop. And uh, if you can meditate uh, with the sharp and powerful mindfulness, and your concentration will grow up in the upachara concentration or the access concentration while seeing the patibhaganimitta, and then this is the time uh, you enter into jhana. This is the time you enter into jhana. That means 
how you can uh, understand i enter into jhana you can understand in the in the upachara concentration how concentration you experience in the upachara concentration whenever you enter into jhana you can understand thousand of thousand uh, multiplied concentration you experience uh, that means your upachara concentration then your upachara concentration jhana concentration is more powerful more deep and more powerful so in this way you can understand i get absorbed like this is the absorption concentration or the jhana concentration that mean whenever you you see your patibhagani mitta you you automatically enter into jhana concentration also that mean whenever you see your patibhagani mitta either your concentration either access concentration or jhana concentration so keep it mind this is very important and uh, but <clears throat> here you you wanna know other thing also when you focus this patibhaga nimitta i told uh, your jhana factors are maximum uh, jhana factor develop its maximum level and it gets mature and your five hindrances are now overcome and not only that you five pancha bala you grow your pancha bala what is pancha bala saddha sati virya sorry saddha sati virya samadhi panya saddha mean your faith to the triple gem and sati your mindfulness your virya effort and samadhi is the is your ekagrata ekagrata chetasika become samadhi whenever you are ekagrata chetasika if you can maintain your ekagrata chetasika for 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour or so on then your ekagrata ekagrata chetasika itself become samadhi so uh, your samadhi is increase here then it is it act as like a bala five power and then you have panya panya mean your wisdom faculty or oh, your wisdom so why this is bala these are unshakable now unshakable in in by way of unshakable they grow grow up whenever you see the patibhagani mitta perfect perfectly and peacefully comfortably then all five bala bala grows in your mind and not only that your five faculties pancha indriya also uh, growing pancha indriya mean saddha sati virya samadhi panya but same five but functionally they are different that mean they are the faculties they overwhelm the others overwhelm the others so how this overwhelm comes only maintaining sati sati or the mindfulness only maintaining if you can maintain your mindfulness peacefully and comfortably and then all five bala all five indriya or the five faculties they grow <clears throat> they grow up to its maximum level to enter into jhana not only that your five uh, sapta bhujanga also sapta bhujanga also grow here what is the sapta bhujanga sati sab sambhujanga dhamma vichaya sambhujanga and piti pasaddi sambhujanga to sambhujanga and samadhi panja samadhi pan sambhujanga upekka sambhujanga so uh, you have then you have uh, five bala five indriya and seven bhujanga so 17 factors 17 factors you, you uh, growing in your mind uh, not only that 17 and you have uh, five jhana factors also so uh, all together and uh, overcoming the five hindrances then only you can enter into jhana otherwise you cannot enter into jhana all five 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 bala five indriya and sapta bhujanga and your five jhana factors and overcoming the five hindrances so whenever you can meditate in this way all these are automatically develop if you maintain your mindfulness towards the object perfectly okay now uh, whenever you enter into the first jhana so first jhana then you have what is the first jhana vitakka vichara piti sukha ekagrata 
So Buddha calls first jhana, this is the first jhana, uh, first jhana addressed Buddha as Vitaka Vichara Piti Sukha Ekagata, mind with the Vitaka Vichara Piti Sukha Ekagata. So this is the first jhana. So uh, whenever you, that means whenever you see the, you, whenever you see Patibhaha Ganimita and then uh, all Panchabala, Panchindriya, Satabhajanga and uh, they are growing and you are, uh, again you are, these five jhana factors are growing and you automatically enter into jhana, jhana concentration, absorption. That is what is called absorption. So in this absorption, you you uh, again your object is patibhaganimita. Object is not not change. Object is patibhaganimita while you are in the jhana also. So uh, you focus your object continuously for one hour, two hour, three hours, so on, and then that that is the jhana concentration. So in the jhana concentration, you usually you you uh, all five in the, uh, all five doors are closed all five doors are closed you cannot hear even sound so usually uh, <clears throat> and then this is the jhana concentration whenever you you end, uh, usually a meditator should uh, practice this jhana, first jhana concentration for at least 3 days 3 days many sittings and uh, up to 3 hours at least or yeah up to 3 hours at least and then only you can do the five mastery what is the five mastery? Mastery means Vasi Bhava. Five mastery are the Avajana, Samapajana, Aditana, Uttana, Pachavekana. What are they? How they uh, how they how we can do the five mastery? Uh, avajana means adverting the jhana factor. And samapajana means entering into the jhana. And then Adithana is the determination of the time duration to enter into jhana. And uh, Uttana means emerging from the jhana. And uh, Pachavekana means uh, again reviewing the jhana factors. So how, how you want to make this? You enter into first jhana for a long time. For a long time means for at least three hours. And then emerge from that first jhana. And then... You focus your deep heart because you focus your deep heart and then you you need to you need to discern your bhavanga mind stage here. Because why you you enter into first jhana and you emerge from the first jhana. So whenever you emerge from the first jhana, bhavanga mind comes, otherwise your mentality becomes cease. So, uh, because whenever you enter into the first jhana, the, your first jhana mind is going on. Oh, uh, first jhana, jhana javan is going on. The, that means whenever you en emer emerge from the first jhana, you don't have chitta viti in, in your heart. So, therefore, your bhavanga mind comes to continue the, continuous the mentality. So, therefore, you, you want to see your bhavanga mind after emerging from the first jhana. So, how to see the Bhavanga? Bhavanga is the brilliant or the luminous. Now you are Patibhaganimita also luminous and brilliant. So, how to understand this? Bhavanga is more brilliant than the Patibhaganimita. So, therefore, you can understand Bhavanga, Bhavanga and the Bhavanga mind, you know, this is the mind and mind movement. So, this mind movement arise and as soon as it arise, it perish away or it fall down or disappear. But uh, Patibhaganimita is not in this way. Patibhaganimita is the stable one. This Bhavanga, uh, usually Bhavanga arise and as soon as it arises, it perish away. So uh, then how you, you would you would see this? Actually, this now, now this Patibhaganimita act as a mirror in front of you. Even not in only Patibhaganimita, whenever you enter into jhana and imagine from the jhana, even though you don't have jhana mind, this uh, after emerging from the jhana, you have jhana light. You don't have jhana mind, but you have jhana light. So in front of you, you have a light. So through this light, this light like a display. So through this light or the screen. So through through this light, you focus. You focus your heart. You focus. You just focus your heart to see uh, to to discern your bhavanga so the then bhavanga appears on this light 
on this slide. That means uh, in the Patibhaga Nimitta, you can, you can uh, see your Bhavanga mind. And uh, how to see the Bhavanga mind? Bhavanga mind is more brilliant than the Patibhaga Nimitta. So in this way, you can understand your Bhavanga mind. So, and then there, thereafter, you discern your Jhana factor first. Jhana factor. Jhana factor means how to discern Jhana factor. As soon as you see the Bhavanga mind, you, you, you with the intention to see the Vitakka, Vitakka, and then you, uh, you see the Vitakka in the uh, Vitakka, how to act Vitakka on the mind. Now, now see, now you, you see the Bhavanga, and then Bhavanga, uh, Bhavanga will break down. And then what happened? Your meditation mind, but your meditation mind is here now. You have seen the Patibhaga Nimitta and your meditation mind is here. Now you can see in the on the on the light, you can see what what happened in the heart. Can I understand this thing? You 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 you, you have your light in front of you, jhana light. And your your mind, your bhavanga mind is in the heart, inside the heart. Now you can see your bhavanga mind arising and perish away. So then you 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 can see again your patibhaga nimitta touch the bhavanga mind. But bhavanga mind has another object. So bhavanga mind doesn't take this this object, and then bhavanga mind falls and it it gives the rooms for the other your Jhana, so your meditation mind. So therefore, you can how you can understand the vitakka, vitakka, vitakka. Now vitakka act, vitakka is the initial application towards the object. So in uh, you you keep it mind vitakka is the initial application, and then you can see uh, <coughs> your mind, your mind. You can see your patibhaganimitta in the middle, and. Uh, to the Patibhaga Nimitta, your mind lift, lift, or the, your mind direct to the towards the Patibhaga Nimitta in all direction. This is the Vitakka. So in that way, you are you are you can understand the Vitakka by the natural feature of the Vitakka. And then, if you satisfy to identify the Vitakka or the light, but Vitakka is in the heart. You can see this through the light. And then you you go to the go to, you 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 have actually you develop to develop the intention to see the vichara, and uh, and again you go into your jhana, you enter into jhana. How you enter into jhana? You you focus your your patibhaga nimitta, and automatically you enter into jhana and stay for a long time. And that means not only one sitting. So if you if you can see the vichara in the first sitting and then the next day or the next sitting you can see the vichara. Otherwise uh, you cannot understand because uh, you are novice for this this situation. So therefore, uh, in the next uh, next sitting only you can understand the vichara. So in the next sitting you again go to the first jhana and emerge from the first jhana and see the bhavanga. In the deep heart, you focus your deep heart and see the bhavanga, and then you uh, just see the vitakka, and thereafter you, you with the intention to see the vichara, you go you 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 identify the vichara, how act the vichara, vichara uh, sustain application on the object. So this this can you you can see this thing very clearly through the light, and then. Uh, on the next sitting, you can you can focus your PT Chetasika or the PT Jananga, how act PT on the object you can see. And again, you can see Sukha Vedana or the Sukha, Sukha Chetasika or the Sukha Jananga on the object, how it acts. And again, Ekagata Chetasika also you can you can see through the light whenever uh, in the same way. This is how your five jhana factor you can understand. And then uh, <clears throat> you need, uh, after discerning the five jhana factor through the light, then only you can do the five mastery. So how to do the five mastery? 
then you again you enter into first jhana how to enter into first jhana you go to the patibhaga nimitta up to patibhaga nimitta you produce uh, now you can actually if you produce up to first jhana then you can your patibhaga nimitta comes very quickly to you and then you go you go you first go to the in breath out breath and touch point and then patibhaga nimitta appear very soon and you focus patibhaga nimitta there and then you enter into the first jhana and you stay for a long time in first jhana yeah i should say in this way you focus your patibhaga nimitta up to patibhaga nimitta you focus your patibhaga nimitta and then you determine may i enter into first jhana uh, for one hour and emerge from the first jhana in due time in this way you want to make a de determination <clears throat> then what happen you enter into first jhana and if you focus your object or uh, that is the patibhaga nimitta if you focus your object then you uh, fo po, uh, peacefully and comfortably and with a strong mindfulness then over one hour after one hour without having uh, disturbance you can emerge from the jhana after one hour so this is the first the, uh, and then you uh, actually after one hour you can you can see again your heart, heart base heart base mean you can see your bhavanga again and then you you see your jhana factor five jhana factor so actually you you practice how to how to uh, how to discern the jhana factor before and then now you can understand you can you can see your five jhana factor at once at once mean we, uh, very quickly vitakka vichara piti sukha ekagrata like thing at once you can see so uh, the first if you see first this is the avajjana and if you see the la, uh, the second time also jhana factor this is the pachavekana and uh, whenever you enter into jhana this is the samapachana right and whenever you adit you make adithana you whenever you make adithana this is the adithana vasi bhava and uh, over adithana period or the or you can uh, determine period determine time period if you emerge from the jhana rightly this is the uh, uttana or the emerging from the jhana so whenever you you, you en enter into jhana by taking the adithana by determine the determining so your samapachana avajjana sorry samapajjana uh, uttana and adithana three vasi bhava finish and then after uh, actually for the uh, avajjana avajjana mean adverting the jhana factor and the pachavekkana mean the revealing the jhana factor usually for the novice novice meditator uh, the teachers advise not to see not to see avajjana and pachavekkana only Uh, you enter into jhana and make aditana and emerge from the jhana those three only for the novices and then if you practice this for one, two hour three hour masteries then only you can understand you can see your uh, avachana and pachavekkana vasi bhava also so therefore in, in this way you, uh, if you if you practice first hour mastery and second hour mastery and third hour mastery like then your first jhana is finished and if you what is the mastery or the vasi bhava whenever the whenever time whatever the time wh whatever the place and how, how time duration what time duration if you enter into jhana if you are skillful to the enter into jhana and if you <clears throat> if you are skillful to the emerging from the jhana that is the uh, vasi bhava so we, uh, then let's say like may i enter into the may i enter into anapana first jhana for for two hour and emerge from anapana first jhana uh, after two hour like if you make if you make aditana then after two hour if you may if you 
focus your object very perfectly then <coughs> sorry then uh, you this this is the vasi bhava this, this three vasi bhava is complete here three vasi bhava means samapajana aditana and buddhana so uh, then then thereafter you 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 focus your jhana factor whenever you see first jhana uh, um, at the beginning if you see the all jhana factor this is the avajana and there, thereafter if you see the jhana factor this is the pachavekkana so keep in mind in this way up to now and then we can uh, discuss this thing uh, i mean what are the chitaviti and the, these thing i can uh, tell you another another uh, lecture <clears throat> so now if you practice this vasi bhava or the mastery five mastery uh, you will first jhana doesn't destroy forever <clears throat> otherwise jhana will fall if you didn't do the vasi bhava jhana will fall down okay up to first jhana i explain if, uh, uh, today and then uh, sometimes you cannot understand uh, how to go to the second jhana because this is the, uh, now we have uh, many thing to do so for example you you need to focus your bhavanga mind and you need to focus your you need to discern your five jhana factors and you, you need to practice the vasi bhava and enter into jhana emerging from the jhana like thing they, those are very uh, i think uh, deep thing to the listeners but if you practice this meditation those, those are not so difficult <clears throat> okay today uh, we finish up to the first jhana and uh, another day i i will discuss about how to go to second jhana and how to go to third jhana and how to go to fourth jhana uh, uh, now uh, let's discuss in, if you have any question do you have any question yeah Oh, Upasak uh, Nana Samiji, please uh, go ahead with your question. Yes, uh, hello, Pandami Bhante. Uh, I have uh, asked in the chat uh, about uh, the Nimitta. Does it have a specific location where it arises normally? Uh, okay. <clears throat> this Nimitta usually arise in the touch point. This touch point also for the person to person touch point is different. So, for example, if the uh, for the long, long if the, if your nose is very long, very long mean usually you know uh, for the South Asian people, uh, nose is long, no. And again, you you uh, European people also American people also nose long, but uh, in this. In this, uh, especially in Myanmar and uh, you know the other countries, uh, how, this the southeast, no, yeah, uh, yeah, southeast area, uh, the nose is short. So therefore, uh, in uh, usually for the the if you have long nose, usually your in breath uh, touch point is in the nostril, in the nostril, and if you have short nose, your touch point is over the uh, upper lip and sometimes for example if you have if you are in uh, in breath and out breath and touch point is in the nostril you are up you are nimitta parikama ugga and other patibhag nimitta is in the in the in the uh, nostril inside the nostril or the uh, on the nostril some uh, if the nose is very short then your nimitta may be in the upper lip. In this way, you can understand. But again, you you want to see this thing. You can uh, you want to understand this thing. Sometimes, according to your sanya or the perception, though nimitta is in the upper lip or the uh, what is called the nostril, sometimes according to your perception, you can understand that you your nimitta is in front of uh, your uh, forehead, like. 
you nimitta is in front of your uh, like uh, on the top of the nose like so in this way also can but but the thing is whenever you can maintain your mindfulness you can see your nimitta is close to the touch point can understand yes abanti actually uh, that second one you were saying about being almost at the forehead that is yeah. more my case uh, because um, i was discussing this uh, with uh, someone also from the pawak tradition uh -huh. she has uh, she's a siala has been meditating there for many years so she told me it's possible for the nimitta to get stuck in the head uh -huh. uh, i don't know about uh, your take on this uh, but she said like you have to try to meditate not exactly on the touch point but a little bit even further so the nimitta will go down in that direction because she said as she said to me my nimitta is stuck inside the head you know i don't know your take on this actually, actually nimitta doesn't tuck in this head this is the sanya this is your perception <clears throat> according to your perception actually nimitta is in the in the touch point usually nimitta in the touch point but the your perception now you your mind says your panya panindri or the wisdom faculty says or the, sorry sanya especially the sanya says nimitta is in the forehead but uh, uh, again i would i want to tell this thing sometimes you, uh, nimi not only it's not sometimes nimitta emits light nimitta also a light nimitta emits light for example you know the sun sun is uh, sun is also light sun emits light sun disperses light no so in the same way uh, some meditators they cannot understand what is the light and what is the nimitta and uh, in in your case also maybe that thing for example uh, you can understand that uh, your nimit your light is in front of your head in in the in the in forehead no you you told forehead is that correct yeah like uh, you can say the third eye the that point there uh, between the eyebrow almost i feel it is there okay okay uh, there so therefore that mean you, uh, the the light emits by the nimitta also see in this way be, be very careful and uh, you you focus your breath and you you can understand <clears throat> uh, the nimitta is close to the nostril close to the nostril and it emits light the that light you if you if your sanya or the perception says that light uh, that uh, uh, that light is uh, you focus that light that is not the nimitta then you uh, whenever you focus your breath in breath and out breath touch point then only you can understand the i, I am seen in the th as third eye uh, as a nimitta or the light emits from the nimitta you want to differentiate this thing can understand mr upasaka um yes uh, but there's another situation that happens with me where the, the nimitta comes between the mm -hmm. like before the breath uh, it doesn't join with the breath it's like between my sort of perception and the breath you know and so, so and then it's hard to focus on the breath it gets like in the middle you know what i mean yeah at the again i told the, the this unification that's why this unification is more and more important so if you can understand the unification of the nimitta and the breath is very clearly and you are no no you have no any doubt so again when you see the light in in forehead as a third eye you as you said uh you see you 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 see uh, or you you uh, investigate you investigate while focus while focusing the breath you investigate uh, the, uh, the, the eyes are light and the, uh, the, is there any unification of this light and the nimitta can I understand in this way yes yes pante yeah that is that should, must be done uh, otherwise uh, usually uh, whenever you focus your breath then the uh, all the lights in front of you comes to the 
comes to the, close to the breath usual thing it, it will happen in usually so whenever you 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 focus your breath the that light also comes down that that is also a possibility right uh, yes yes okay bhante thank you okay uh, any question again bhante in yeah. sabdakaya pati samvedi when we see the whole breath body yes. then our mind should be at one point touching point or we should follow with breath actually uh, your mind you you sh- you must keep in the touch point and uh, <clears throat> i mean mindfulness you 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 follow the object with the mindfulness on the touch point and from the touch point you can understand your breath uh, in breath come comes from the touch point and uh, from the beginning up to the end and uh, out breath also from the touch point from the beginning up to the end uh, you need, you don't need to follow the breath up to the throat and you know the chest or the abdomen you don't need to follow like that or even to the outside of the nostril you don't need to follow no inside nostril the yeah. length of the breath should i know or i should sit on one point only yes on one point only no, no, no. yeah on one point right usually the touch point can I understand yes benthi thank you okay hmm. mr pankaj you have a question no okay dr shital no question mr nilesh no question no um uh, actually looking at the pictures uh, bhante ji Uh, yeah. that clarified uh, uh, some of the doubts i had so thank you for the talk and thank you for sharing sharing the pictures okay sadhu 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 um so <coughs> yeah uh, excellent uh, session bante ji today it is so clear now very step by step you have explained everything i mean uh, it's uh, definitely uh, going to help in our uh, meditation now so thank you thank you so much mante ji thanks okay. yeah uh, the practice will give you the everything so then you need to practice everybody want to practice uh, uh, hardly but i know you have many engagements in the outside so but, uh, when you the, said yeah? Yeah. exactly one hour if we practice then this this steps are there now so it was very clear today so i felt uh, uh, very good so at those efforts we have to take now that that i realized yes, so really yes. thank you thank you sure, sure. Uh, thank you uh, no. thanks sir okay see you then uh, no question no uh, mr upasaka i i can ask can i ask a question uh, yes you, please would you would you like to attend jana Oh, I've been trying to attain Jana since 2015, but I would love to attain Jana already. <laughs> okay. I've been working very hard but having a lot of obstacle. How many um how many hours you meditate? Well, uh nowadays because I'm also uh trying to study Pali, so um um uh, I would say about 4 hours a day including sitting and uh, walking. Ah, actually, if you have time, uh, sitting meditation is the best. A uh, walking meditation gives little results, and wa- uh, sitting meditation gives you the uh, maximum results on the anapana or whatever the meditation, whatever the sitting meditation. I I would recommend sitting meditation for you at the moment. Okay, uh, meditate, meditate in this way. A uh, good good. Okay, uh, today Thank no. You. pragna or some some no pragna pragna or some that that day he she asked some question i cannot remember or because i cannot uh, that is not that was not audible to me no she she's not here no uh, okay pragna ji is uh, here uh, please go ahead if you have any any questions ha ah. yeah ah uh, jo Ah uh, okay, 
so then next day uh, we will discuss about uh, sang uh, uh, oh, yeah sankit sutta sankit sutta because sankit sutta that is in angutra nikaya why i am taking this sutta in this sutta buddha as to the bhikkhu don't depend on the preliminary concentration and go up to jhana concentration that's the thing so therefore i i know uh, for the many people who depend on the uh, preliminary concentration and find the nibbana so uh, never can so therefore i i choose this this sutta this sutta says buddha to the that bhikkhu don't depend on the preliminary concentration okay so this sutta is uh, you write down uh, this sutta is in what is called uh, uh, this is uh, yeah this sutta is in anguttara nikaya uh, anguttara nikaya uh, uh, attaka nipata uh, please write down attaka nipata and uh, anguttara nikaya attaka nipata bhumi cha chala vag ya bhumi chala vag uh that is the in bhumi chalavaga you have sankitta sutta because many sankitta sutta we have in tipitaka this is this sankitta sutta i mean angutrika eight, eight nipata okay now no question so then the next day we will do the, the uh, this thing uh, this sutta and uh, let's stop today <clears throat> okay sharing merits idamme punyang asavakhaya vang hotu idamme punyang nibbana sa pacheyo hotu mama punyang bhagang sabbe satanam bhajemi te sabbe me samang punyang bhagang labhantu sadu 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 okay let's meet tomorrow bhante bhanda mikan